Hey church family and friends, welcome to day one of our June prayer and fasting moment. We are convinced as a church that we need God to help us and so we fast as a sign of humility on our need on him. Maybe you've never fasted before, I would encourage you to try, miss a meal or start with a day. For those of us who fasted previously, let's believe again. Today, this is what we are praying for on day one. Watch this. We are praying for a 100% tithing community within our church. God wants you blessed. I want you blessed. The Bible teaches us that there is a particular way that we can walk the blessed life. The Bible says in Proverbs and again in Malachi, that if we will bring the first fruit into his house, he will open the windows of heaven and bless us. Malachi says, should we not do that, we're actually robbing God. Tithing simply means one-tenth, but it's not just a tithe. It's the first tithe, the first fruit, the first part. You see, what we are doing is this. We don't pay our tithes. We don't even give our tithes. We bring our tithes because we see them as belonging to God already. And when we bring to God what is his, he blesses the other 90%. In fact, Malachi says he will put an open heaven over our heads. An open heaven over you, your business, your family, your home, your kids, and over us as a church. That open heaven looks like God's prosperity. There's an abundance, even when there's a crisis in the world. Because we're not living by the world's economy, we are living in God's economy, and we're asking him to bring that blessing. An open heaven over the church will also look like this. Many souls continually getting saved. There'll be fruit and effectiveness in us as a ministry. The Bible teaches us that as we bring in the tithe, it should come into the storehouse, which is the church. Many of us come from other nations. We have family, friends, and church connections there. But listen, wherever you are now planted, if this is your church or whichever church you are planted in, your tithe belongs in this church, the home that you find yourself in, not in some far off place. It's this house that needs your investment. It's this house that needs the resource to get done. And God put you here for that. We intend to become, we would love to become, we're reaching to become, we're praying to become a 100% tithing church. Presently, there is a deficit each month in our church between what goes out and what comes in. That's a real challenge. But you know what? If we all tithed, there'd be no deficit. There'd be a huge surplus. And there'd be that open heaven. We think, presently, about 65% of this church give in some way. But we think about 20% are tithers. It is impossible to pray for someone if they're not tithing because I don't know how to pray for you because God gives a clear instruction. You know what? You don't have to tithe because it's your choice. But it is an instruction God gives, and we want to walk in obedience. Sometimes it takes courage to walk in that obedience because the enemy wants us to think, how will we manage? Well, I want to tell you, you'll far manage far more on 90% blessed by God than 100% without him touching it. Let's pray today that we will become a 100% tithing church an open heaven over our house. Though these, through these three days, we're making decrees, declarations, our faith declarations, our hope and our belief and our confession. Today, we decree an open heaven over the church and the families within as we all walk in obedience to tithing, as we tithe into the storehouse, the house of the church. May that open heaven bring prosperity and an ever-increasing crop of souls saved. Lord, I pray for every person who's a part of this Christian family that we call destiny, that they would have the courage to tithe. Perhaps they've tithed for many years, then let them know that open heaven. Rebuke the devourer that tries to destroy. Put in an abundance into their lives. Pray for those who are yet to step out, knowing, Lord, this is the only place your word says that we should put you to the test. I pray that they'll have the courage to put you to the test on this issue and find that you are faithful. I pray that today we will become a 100% tithing community. 
and so walk in that blessed life. We commit this day to you and every person connecting this fast as we press in that you'll hear our prayers from heaven in Jesus' name and for Jesus' sake. Amen.